Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing just a very easy look and I'm going to be using the Bite Beauty Multi Stick in the color Cashew. It's just a really beautiful mauve brown shade. I have it on my lids, cheeks, and my lips and um, we'll see how this wears all day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And let me know if you guys have any comments suggestions or requests i'll talk to you guys soon bye okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take my smashbox primer water and put that all over my face we're going to let that dry and then we'll move on to foundation okay and i'm going to take my sephora corrector in the shade melon and i'm just going to put that down under these dark circles i'm going to be using my sephora pro fan brush to blend my makeup out today and i'm going to blend this product up onto the lid so i don't apply any product on the top lid because i don't want it to crease or to be a little difficult to set so i just kind of blend whatever i put on the bottom up since you guys see, I go generous. My foundation today is gonna to be the Hourglass Stick in Golden Tan. See, Golden Tan. And I have been wearing this. Um, my skin is going through changes. I mean, hello, we're in fall. And I feel like it's just not staying on as well as it was. And I love this foundation, so I'm hoping that I can find a combination that will work for me. I'm going to use the same brush to blend this out. So I feel like I need another layer. I have been a little under the weather, as you guys can tell, maybe in my voice. Um, <clears throat> so I need a little extra coverage. I like extra coverage around the cheeks anyway. I feel like that's where I need it. For my concealer today, I'm going to be using my Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Concealer and the shade I wear is medium. And I'm just going to apply this. Of course, I'm going to set with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm going to use a 133 and my Translucent Setting Powder. And it's a MAC 133, in case you guys don't already know. Okay, so today we're going to be using the Bite Beauty Cashew Multi Stick, and I'm going to first um, apply this on my lids. And I'm just going to lightly dot it, and then I'm going to blend it out with my finger. Actually, I'm going to blend it out with this MAC 286. I'm going to let you guys take a guess and tell me who that is. So these multi-sticks are pretty awesome because they're creamy and they blend out really nicely, but they are, they set to like a powdery finish or a matte finish. So I haven't had any issues with this creasing. If you guys have used this and you've had issues or um, if you've had a, set, a different experience, let me know. I'd like to know what you guys think of these if you've tried them. So this is what it looks like. It's just a very sheer wash of color. I'm going to put on my mascara and then we'll come back to finish the rest of the face. Okay, so I'm going to take um, Max Stubborn Brown Eyeliner and just run it under my lash line and then I'm going to smudge it out. I'm going to take Dark Brew by MAC, which is that color there, and I'm just going to take a pencil brush. I'm going to smudge my lower lash line out. Okay, and that's what it looks like. I'm going to take my um, Lancome Hypnose Drama and I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Pro Bronzing Fusion in 20M and MAC 135 to apply that.
I'm gonna take a little bit of cashew and just pop it on the cheeks. I'm just going to use the same foundation brush just to blend it out. You could use your hands, but I'm choosing to use a brush to get just a very smooth and blended finish. And lastly, it's gonna go on my lips. Now, I told you guys that my skin has been very dry and dehydrated, so I'm gonna take this MAC Lightful C Marine Bright Formula Softening Lotion Spray. That's what this guy looks like. I am going to just do a little spritz of this Okay guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll let you guys know how these products wear all day. I've never really worn them for longer than maybe like three hours at a time. Um, I know the lipstick does actually wear pretty well. It stains the lip also. Um, but I've never really worn this on my cheeks and eyes all day. So I will let you guys know what my thoughts are. I'll talk to you guys soon.